Hi, this is Ali Arango for Game Visuals. Today I want to show you how to do basic side scroller enemy movement in GDevelop 5. So let's get started. Okay, what you see in front of you is the front screen for GDevelop. The first thing we want to do is select create a new project. We have all these options pop up. We want to scroll down and then select empty game. Now we have this panel pop over here to the left that uh, says project. We want to look to where we see scenes, look to the plus beneath that, left click on that plus. Now we have this new scene uh, that popped up. We're going to left click right on the gray here. When we did that, now we had this object panel pop over to the right here. I'm going to press the X to get rid of that projects panel. By the way, if you wanted to bring that projects panel back, you can click right here and bring it back. I'm going to press the X button again to get that to go away again. Okay, what we want to do now is bring in our opponent character. So I'm going to click this plus button here to the right. I'm then going to click on Sprite. I'm going to change the name of this to opponent. I'm going to look to this plus to the right. I'm going to left click there. I'm going to look to this plus to the left. I'm going to left click there. I'm now going to look to the location on my computer that has the frames for our opponent character. So I'm going to left click here to go into this folder. Here in this folder, these are all of the frames that I want to bring in for our opponent character. Uh, to bring all these uh, frames into GDevelop, I'm going to hold control. While holding control, I'm going to press A. That selected all of the frames. I'm now going to click open. So now all of these frames are here in uh, G develop for our opponent character. Now what we need to do is set up this timing. Then the timing for GDevelop is one. Typically that tends to be too slow for a character like this that has, I uh, believe this is about 20 frames. So I'm going to click right next to that one. I'm going to change this to 0 0.05. I'm then going to go to where we see don't loop. We This is a, a walking animation here, so we definitely want this to loop. So I'm going to left click to get this to loop. I'm now going to click this preview button and we can see our character animating there and I think the timing is good for our character. So I'm going to click close. Now what we want to do is we want to add a behavior to our character. So I'm going to left click where we see behaviors right here and now we have to go to this plus to the right and then you can tell you're in behaviors because see this line is right underneath behavior. Now we're going to click this plus and what we want to do is go to platform behavior. We're going to left click here and then all of these controls are fine. So we're going to click apply. And uh, just like that, we were able to put a behavior on this opponent character that's going to allow this uh, opponent to have gravity and be able to walk on a platform. OK, there are many very cool things in GDevelop. Uh, one of the things that's very cool is that we brought this opponent character in. However, the other assets we need to work through this tutorial, we can actually make them here in GDevelop. So let's bring in a uh, platform. So we're going to go to this plus right here to the right. And then we're going to go to tile sprite. We're going to left click on that. We're going to change this name of this to uh, ground. We're then going to go to this paintbrush here. We're going to left click here and once we left click here we see this text pop up that says edit with Pisco. Pisco is an, is a graphic editor inside of GDevelop that we can use to make graphics. So you're going to go right over that text and then left click right on the text and that opens up the Pisco editor. And this is the editor right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our color here. We're going to left click there. I'm going to click and drag in this blue here. I'm going to go towards this uh, grayish color and drag there. I'm now going to go to this paint bucket tool. When I left click, which I didn't do yet, uh, our paint bucket tool is going to be filled with this gray color. I'm going to make this darker. So now I'm going to click again. So now we have this uh, color here for our ground. I'm going to go to where we see new file. I'm going to name this ground. And then I'm going to click save. And what we did just by doing that was we made this graphic that we're going to use to make our platform. Now we're going to go to behaviors. 
we're going to go to the plus to the right and then we're going to go to this behavior which says platform we're going to left click on this we're going to unclick ledges can be grabbed and then we're going to click apply Okay, we need two more graphics, so let's make them. So we're going to click on this plus button to the right. We're going to click on Sprite this time. We're going to name this Go Left, just as one word. We're then going to click this plus button. We're going to the paintbrush move just to the, the side a little bit before it was to the right, but we're going to go to Edit with Pisco, similar to what we did before. And the Pisco editor is loading up. We're going to click on our color, main color here. I'm going to left click and drag, make this a yellowish color. I'm then going to go to our paint bucket. I'm going to click here. The paint bucket filled all of the uh, this area here in with the color we choose. I'm going to name this. Go left. And then I'm going to click save. And for this, we don't need any behavior. So we're now going to click apply. Okay, we need to make a similar sprite like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click plus. We're going to go to sprite. We're going to name this go right. We're going to click plus we're going to select edit with pistol we're going to click on our main color this time i'm going to pick blue color so i clicked and dragged i'm going to click and drag in here i'm then going to click the paint bucket click here to fill those uh, that area up i'm going to now name this go right and then i'm going to click save and we don't need any behaviors for this, so we're going to click Apply. Okay, so now that we have our graphics, let's roll our mouse wheel back. So see this uh, black line here shows us our work area. We're going to grab our opponent. I'm going to left click and just drag him out. He's too big, so I'm going to hold Shift. While holding Shift, I'm going right to this corner. See how there's a diagonal uh, double arrow there? I'm holding Shift. And I'm pushing to the side. And the reason why I'm doing that is I wanted to, I let go of shift now. I wanted to uh, shrink this down, but constrain the uh, form of this. If you don't constrain it by holding shift, you might make it skinnier or it being the character or make it taller or shorter. So I'm going to put him into place about here. I'm going to go to this ground now. I'm going to left click and drag this out. Now with this, what we want to do is we actually want to pull this out. So I'm just right here, this smaller square to the side. We just pull this out. And uh, now that gives us a platform to walk on. I'll make that longer. And now what we're going to do is we want to have when the character we're going to what we're going to do is set up something. So when the character walks to here, the character is going to to walk right again and then when he gets to here it's going to walk left again so we're going to go to this uh, go left we're going to drag this out and we'll put this right here and then we're going to go to the go left and do a similar put in a similar location on the other side okay here in G Develop we set our graphics up like we did here and then we set up our program programming up where we see new scene events so we're going to left click there we see this uh message that says there are no events here events are composed of conditions and actions add your first event using the first buttons of the toolbar so what we want to do is click this button right here